In of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord from amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By thy immaculate conception, O Mary, make my body pure and my soul holy. My mother, preserve me this night from mortal sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the Immaculate Conception, O Mary, make me body pure and my soul holy. My Mother, preserve me this night from mortal sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the Immaculate Conception, O Mary, make me body pure and my soul holy. My mother preserve me this night from mortal sin. Good afternoon. It's today, Wednesday, the 28th of December, 2022. And today, it is Children's, the feast day of the Holy Innocents, Martyrs. From today's Roman Martyrology. In Bethlehem of Judah, the birthday of the Holy Innocents, who were slain for Christ by Herod the King. At Lyon in France, the birthday also of Saint Francis de Sales, Bishop of Geneva and Confessor, because of his burning zeal for the conversion of heretics and his learning. Pope Alexander VII placed him among the number of the saints and his feast is observed on the 29th of January, on which day his holy body was translated from Lyon to Annecy in Savoie. Pope Pius IX decreed him a doctor of the Universal Church, and Pope Pius XI constituted him the heavenly patron of all Catholic writers who explain, promote and or defend Christian doctrine by publishing journals or other writings in the vernacular. And in other places, many other holy martyrs, confessors and virgins. Gracias. Today is Wednesday and this day is Captain Anna of St. Joseph and tomorrow is Thursday and the day is Captain Anna of the Blessed Sacrament. Every morning 
to receive from the hands of Jesus Christ himself your own cross. With this maxim of Saint Alphonsus for attaining per perfection in the love of Jesus Christ, I good, greet you again joyfully on this feast of the Holy Innocent Children from our Holy Island with new readings and thoughts about spiritual life. May God bless you abundantly in your efforts to advance on your spiritual way to God. From the glories of Mary by our Holy Father Saint Alphonsus. Our hope. Mary is the hope of sinners. We may indeed say that our Lord has given us Mary as a public infirmary in which all who are sick, poor and destitute can be received. But now I ask, in hospitals erected expressly for the poor who have the greatest claim to admission, certainly the most infirm and those who are in the greatest need. And for this reason, should anyone find himself devoid of merit and overwhelmed with spiritual infirmities, that is to say, sin, he can thus address Mary. O Lady, thou art the refuge of the sick poor, reject me not, for as I am the poorest and most infirm of all, I have the greatest right to be welcomed by thee. Let us then cry out with St. Thomas of Villanova, O Mary, we poor sinners know no other refuge than thee, for thou art our only hope, and on thee we rely for our salvation. Thou art our only advocate with Jesus Christ, to thee we all turn ourselves. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. From the love of God in practice, by our Holy Father Saint Alphonsus. Chapter 3. The great confidence we should place in the love that Jesus Christ has shown for us and in all that he has done for us. Here I would like to admit many lovely thoughts given to us in a letter of Blessed John of Avila. I would tell of what great trust we should place in the merits of Jesus Christ. Do not make any mistake in this. Jesus Christ is standing between the Eternal Father and us. By Him we are loved. To Him we are bound by such strong bonds of love that nothing is able to shatter them if man himself does not break them by death dealing sin. The blood of Jesus sends up its cry asking for mercy on us. It cries so loudly that the cry of our sins is not heard. The death of Jesus has killed sin. O death, I will be thy death. O.C. 13 Those who are lost are lost not because there is no Saviour, but because they do not want to profit by the sacrament and the atonement made by Jesus Christ. Jesus has made it his own responsibility to supply us with a remedy, even as though he needed it himself. 
so he has called our sins his own, even though he did not commit them. And for this he sends up his cry for pardon. That cry has sense with a love that comes forth from the very depths of his being, even as though he were praying for himself. He is pleading that all those who come close to his sight will be loved even as he himself is loved. He has asked for this, and he has also obtained it. Therefore God has disposed things in this way, that Jesus and we are so united in one that we either have to be loved as he is loved, or he must be hated if we are hated. But Jesus is not and he cannot be hated. In the same manner, if we are united with Jesus in love, we are too, we too are loved with him. If he is to be loved by God, so must be, must be so we must be loved also. So you see that Jesus Christ prevails more to make us loved than we can prevail by our sins to make ourselves hated. And so it is that the Eternal Father loves his Son in such a way that, that he cannot hate the sinner. Jesus has said to his eternal Father, Father, I will that where I am, there also, those also whom you have given me may be with me. John 17. The greater love has conquered the lesser hate, and we are pardoned, and we are loved. We are safe, never more can we be forsaken where such a strong bond of love exists. The, lo the Lord has said through his prophet, Isaiah 49, Can a mother forget her child? Yet even if she should forget, will I not forget you? Because I hold you, he holds us written in his hands. This is something great indeed. Because of it, let us not be troubled by anything whatsoever, for all things are arranged for us by those who love for us. Surely nothing can cause us to be afraid when Jesus Christ is our security. True, my sins are all about me. Fear of the future disturbs me. The demons are setting their snares for me. But how can I be distressful? I who can call on the mercy of Jesus, who is so full of kindness. He is my lover until death, and I will never waver in my trust. I see myself set at such a high price that the God has given himself for me. O oh Jesus, you are mine when they are buffeted by the tempest. How deceived are those who do not trust you when they wish to change their lives. Be not afraid. It is I. I am he that gives tribulation and consolation. Sometimes I leave you in a state of desolation that may seem like a hell, but then I draw you out, who have taken your cause on my own self, as though it were my own. I have gone pale with which I redeemed you, was very great. How could I fly from one who is seeking me as a friend, 
when I went forth to meet those who sought me to outrage me. I did not turn away my face from him who struck me. And do you think that I will turn it away from him who comes to adore me? How can my own children doubt my love? After they have seen me place myself at the enemies for the love of them. When did I ever turn in contempt from one who said that he loved me? When did I ever forsake one that was seeking my help? I am still going about looking for those who do not love me. Do, do not look for me. If you really believe that the eternal Father has given you his Son, then believe also that he will give you all else that remains. For all things else are infinitely less than the Son. Oh, do not think that Jesus Christ is forgetful of you, for you, of you. For as a memorial of his love, he has left you the greatest guarantee that he possessed, and this was his own very self in the segments in the segment of the altar. So there we see that we have can have all confidence in God for the future. How difficult situation is situations might be in the future, we can always call on our Lord, on His merits, and God so will surely give us what we need to attain eternal salvation. Now that we, now that Jesus has given Himself for us. Express bait, exorcism, and devotions. Today the devotions are in honor of Saint Joseph and the infant Jesus. Words from our Lord to Sister Josepha Menendez, who was a Catholic nun and mystic and whose death who day of death is tomorrow. Have here a little story of her life. Josefa was born in Madrid, Spain, on February the 4th in 1890, of good Catholic parents of moderate means. She was the eldest of four surviving children. When her father died, she became the sole support of the family through her skillful sewing. Sewing. By nature, she was both serious and vivacious. When preparing for her first communion at the age of eleven, she resolved to give herself entirely to God. It was then that she heard a voice for the first time saying to her, Yes, little one, I want you to be all mine. She was 29 before she was able finally to achieve a desired goal of entering the society of the Sacred Heart. As the sisters of the Sacred Heart were opening a new novitiate at the convent of Le Veillant in Poitiers, France, she agreed to go there for a novitiate, thus making the sacrifice or a native land. During her novitiate and short religious life, she had great temptations against her vocation. The devil seemed determined to make her leave, and she was able to persevere and make her first vows only with the greatest difficulty. Her final vows were made on her deathbed. Even when Sister Josepha was a novice, God began to intervene in her life in an extraordinary way. Her religious life 
became one series of extraordinary communications with the supernatural world, although no one ever came to know of this except the superiors and the confessor. Her obedience, simplicity and detachment were admirable and sure signs that she was being led by God. Her great temptation up to the very end was to withdraw from this extraordinary way of God's special choosing and to be allowed to go by an ordinary way that would leave her free for her work. She feared this way chosen for her by God and only consented to it as an inescapable manifestation of the divine will. Our Lord willed to use your Josepha to manifest to souls by the visible supernatural love and mercy he showed to her, that invisible love and care which he has for all souls. It is as though Jesus were saying to us, do you see our love and care for this chosen soul? Well, I'm loving and caring for you just as much, but in a hidden and unseen way. Believe and trust in my love and mercy. Our Lord also desired that Josepha give him other souls. He led her in the ways of a victim soul when she won graces for others. Our Lord told Josepha that her littleness and sufferings had saved many souls. This was part of the message that God willed to give to the world to, through her. But he also willed to give through her a written message, one written down at his own dictation. The writing of this, together with the account of all her supernatural relations with God, was done out of obedience to her superiors. This was very painful to Joseva and something that cost her very much in the way of self-denial. Joseva's death at the age of 33 on December 29, 1923 was an extraordinary and as hidden as her life had been. Only after her death did those with whom she lived learn of the extraordinary life which yet lived in their midst. Cardinal Pacelli, later Pope Pius XII, who was Cardinal Protector of, of the Society at the time, wrote a letter of commendation for the published account of her life. Here then some quotes from our Lord to Josepha, Sister Josepha Menendez. Quote, Ah, if only they, the souls, knew my heart. Mankind is ignorant of its mercy and goodness. That is my greatest sorrow. Unquote. If we knew God's goodness, for us in heaven, if we knew our reward in heaven, we would so much more do our best to please our Lord, and we would offend him so much less. And therefore God sorrow because of our ignorance of his goodness and mercy is so great. Because so many souls go to perdition into hell just because of this ignorance. Another quote. I have contracted an alliance of love and mercy with you. Does love ever grow weary or mercy come to an end? Unquote. That God's mercy with us is so great and that he has 
so much patience with us, although every man offends him during all his lifetime. And still always his goodness does it prove with great love. Love is strong as death, as the Canticle of Canticle says in chapter 8. Another quote. Nothing indeed is wanting to my heavenly beatitude, which is infinite. But I yearn for souls, I thirst for them, I want to save them. Unquote. Although God is infinitely happy and nothing lacks in his happiness, still he longs to share his happiness with each one of us. This is a mystery of charity. If it was not difficult for men to enter heaven, a God would not have died for us. If every man got saved and did not fall into hell, why would God then die in so in a horrible way on the cross? Therefore, we have to be so thankful that we hopefully are on the way to heaven. Let us then fulfill the strong desire of our Lord to give all souls the eternal bliss by praying much and do penance to save many souls for him. Another quote. Yes, I love all souls, but with very special affection those who are the most meek, sorry, the most weak and little. Uh, if souls only understood how ardently I desire to communicate myself to them, but how few to understand, and how deeply this wounds my heart. Unquote. Only those souls can understand the great art of our Lord to communicate Himself to souls who are filled with God's love themselves, and therefore we have to be open for His grace, especially by being humble towards him. But we continued a rosy follow in a few minutes.